today we're going to be discussing drug testing in sport. Objectives of the research as follows. I would like to find out if drug testing of sports is effective and how it is carried out. What type of drugs can be detected and are new drugs being developed that can't be detected? What are the long and short term effects do these have on athletes? So these are the research questions I have in place. How long do drugs stay in the system? How are drugs detected? What methods are used? How difficult is it to detect performance enhancing drugs? And what new drugs are difficult to detect? How expensive is it to drug test an athlete? What are the long and short term effects of athletes who take performance enhancing drugs? some thoughts to ponder. If an athlete takes a drug that stays in the body, which is legal at the time, and the drug is banned six months after he has taken it, can he still, he, she still be tested positive as it was not banned at the time of the start of this consumption? Does politics, commercialization, sponsorship and marketability affect the punishment of athletes who use performance enhancing drugs? Um, athletes gain similar benefits from activities which have similar physiological effects to performance enhancing drugs such as altitude training. List of performance enhancing drugs. Anabolic steroids, pills, tablets, intramuscularly injected, steam, taken in a stack combo, different types of steroids, and testosterone, designer drugs, EPO, PHG, which is tetrahydrostine, human growth hormone, and gene altering drugs coming soon, which are probably here because this is an old presentation. Uh, how long do drugs stay in the system? Anywhere between three months to a year, depending on the dosage taken. What are drugs detected? How are drugs detected and what method they used? Uh, the 1970s chromatography, new method detecting steroids, uh, blood and urine sample analyzed for any unusual material and it took days. Testing for drugs. How difficult is it to detect performance enhancing drugs and what new drugs are difficult to detect? So it's estimated 6% of men and 1.4% of women in gyms. Just flash back to that. Estimated between 6% of men and 1.4% of women in gyms in the US use steroids. A new drug that alters genes is being invented, which is impossible to detect, designed to rebuild muscles from muscle wasting diseases, but could be used by athletes to generate muscles. Um, gene altering drugs will be almost impossible to be detected. How expensive is it to drug test an athlete? 
costs about 20 US dollars to buy a drug testing kit for each athlete at the Asian Track and Field Championships. 40 kits were purchased and athletes were tested randomly. Uh, what are the long and short term effects of athletes who take performance enhancing drugs? Well, here are some. So the short term effects, young people limit limitation and growth, stunts growth, increased muscle, uh, increased growth in muscle tissue, irritability, depression, loss of appetite, breakouts of acne, bad breath, stolen swollen feet and roid rages. Long term, very small writing, but I'll read them out. Illness, premature death, psychological dependency, withdrawal, fatigue, sleeplessness, headaches, decrease in naturally produced testosterone in men, shrinking of the testicles in men, reduced sperm count in men, more body hair, deepening of voice, partial baldness, permanent damage, to the heart, liver, and kidney, increased risk of a heart attack with less tolerance to salt, obsession with sport and winning, ruins of relationships with friends and family, and gender bending for women. Okay, bibliography books listed here. Um, I'll leave that screen up for a little while. There we go, and I've even used magazines and pieces of computer software. Okay, moving to the next screen. So that's the end of my presentation. So remember, winners don't take drugs. And thank you. Here. I will pause it there so that's a read. And that is all.